After reacquiring the Japanese Carrier Task Force on the morning of the 17th, approximately 200 miles northwest of Santa Cruz, Allied commanders finally confirmed the presence of a second Carrier Task Force operating over 200 miles northeast of Task Force 7's position. With his location still undetected in the early morning hours, Admiral Mitcher ordered a strike against the fleet just 120 miles to the northwest, sinking the seaplane tender and a heavy cruiser, and crippling the battleship Nagato. With Hornet's strike force returning to the carrier, land-based bombers continued to close on the remains of the Japanese force, with orders to sink the Nagato at any cost. Hello, welcome back to War on the Sea, day 42 of the campaign, September 17th, 8.30 in the morning, and we just finished a strike against the Japanese task force right in this area, which we're going to try and keep track of. There's still a heavily damaged battleship and a heavy cruiser in that strike force, uh, in that task force, that we need to sink. Here's Hornet right here, approximately, what do we got? We're about 100 miles from that task force. Now, when these uh, bombers come back, the Avengers, Dauntlesses, and Wildcats, I probably won't be able to launch for another four hours. So we're going to try and keep track of that task force in this area. We're also going to try and keep track of the task force up in this area. And I've already forgotten. It's it's right in this area, I believe, right around here. So we're going to have th these. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, I did send these over to the area. It's probably right here then where that is. And we're going to try and keep track of it. Task Force 2 over here is supporting operations against the Shortland Islands. The Wildcats are up just in case we need them. We have Task Force 11 here going to deliver some more troops and supplies. And then head on back probably to Guadalcanal to pick up a few more. We're going to need to shore up some of these other areas once we have Shortland Islands. But that's our main focus right now. Shortland Islands and then these two task forces. Um, to deal with these, what's left here, I'm probably going to send up. We have some lightnings here on the way in. And I'm probably going to send up the other, the rest of the lightnings, plus the Havocs, plus the uh, Catalinas. And I'm probably going to send some Catalinas from Russell Islands as well. And we're going to do a bunch of torpedo attacks. That's Oh, oh and also I'm going to launch the bombers. I'm going to go ahead and launch all the bombers, as many as we can. Uh, the Havocs, I don't think are going to make it, but the Fortresses will and the Catalinas. And we'll send them up here. I don't think, how far is this? Uh, 400, almost 500 miles. I think that's a little too far for the Lightnings, even without bombs. And it's barely, well, no, let's see. If we do no bombs, yeah, I could probably send them out. Maybe I'll probably do that. Why not? They, they're just sitting there doing nothing. Uh, other places, let's see, we have uh, uh, a fuel ship here. We have some others here, the, the 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 Australian fuel ships and transports. And again, they're they're headed here to rendezvous with this task force. The fuel ships will continue on to Cookdown and and uh, Cairns, and the rest of them will dock at Milne Bay, pick up troops, and go to Buna with the support of Task Force Ten. And that's pretty much the situation now. I think. I think I have most of these coming back, these uh, search planes, and most of these here are just going to stay in the area and just keep track of this other Japanese task force, assuming we can remember, well, again, it's it's, it's here somewhere. What's the, what's the weather look like? Ugh. So, we even with all these search aircraft here, we've lost Japanese uh, ships before in that kind of weather. So, we'll see what happens here, though. In this area, well, we should be able to pick them up too. I'm going to go ahead and launch again. Let's go ahead and launch uh, all the Catalinas from here. Might as well. We're going to launch them from here and then uh, Santa Cruz and Maleta and probably down here and, and have them uh, head on up here. I think the B-17s, I might have them just try and find this task force up here. We'll see what it, what we can do. We're just going to get them in the air right now. Okay, it's about an hour later and we finally found it. This is it here. Six ships left. We have a whole bunch of bombers coming in. We have uh, some nine A-20s. We have P-38s. Actually, they're going back because 
They don't have any more endurance. We have these lightnings, though. So we have these lightnings. We have some Catalinas coming in. Catalinas and Sunderlands, these all have torpedoes and bombs uh, from from uh, uh, Santa Isabel, some from Malata. We have some, here's some right down here, Catalinas and Sunderlands, and there are lots of them on their way. And we have some B-17s and more Catalinas and A-20s on their way. I think the, it looks like the Lightnings and the A-20s are going to get there first. So we're going to use those, the Lightnings and the A-20s, to probably strafe. I don't think these have any bombs. No, I didn't bring bombs. Specifically brought these to strafe the, the transports, because there are still three transports here. Um, let's see, they're back. They're going on the, okay. The Catalinas, I might as well make sure, now that we know where they are, let's have all the bombers, I'm gonna make sure that they find their way over to this, oh, task force, that one was perfect. Catalina, yep, that looks good. Now this one we're still looking for. I did see some zeros up here, and I think they were headed back through the carrier. They're right in this area, and then they disappeared. So it's here somewhere. It's just not that great of weather. I have all these mariners flying around trying to find it. And we'll probably find it here somewhere. Um, it's just a matter of time. All right, we got the lightnings in the A20s here. We're going to go ahead and start. And we might have to wait a little bit. Let's see if we can find them first. The... Ta yeah, there's the task force. And I'm going to pause so I can take a kind of a detailed look here and see what we have left. What is this over here? Okay, destroyer escort. And a hospital ship. Another destroyer escort or a destroyer. Destroyer probably. Heavy cruiser. Okay. Where's the, there's the battleship. Not looking very good. Okay. So it looks like we can hit, let's see, five. All right, two, five, and one. These three are what we're really going after. Um, if they stay like this, we could just kind of fly over all of them and attack them all, maybe, like one after the other. We'll see. Uh, let's bring the Mariner down just a little bit so it can keep track of what's going on and then I'm going to fly around them see if we can get them to loosen up their formation and and uh, find an opening here okay I think they're starting to break up a little bit we have this cargo ship which looks like it might be a good target uh, there's a heavy cruiser and destroyer sitting here trying to figure out who's going to has the right of way, I guess. So let's see if we can send the lightnings real quick over here. Let's see if we can strafe that. Okay, this is... I forgot what number this one was. I want to see what kind of damage we did on it. Moderate damage, minor flooding. Okay, we'll keep doing this. Once we see an opening like that, we'll just go swoop in and strafe one of them. So we're after one, I think two, and five? Yeah, these are the three cargo vessels here. Number four is the... Six is the battleship. No. Three is the... Four is the battleship. Three is the heavy cruiser right here and that looks interesting let's see if we can get some havocs I'm gonna target that battleship and see if we can get in there and bomb it
Okay, let's see the report on the battleship. It is critical, critical. Just a, maybe another hit or two might sink it. I do have a ton of torpedo planes coming. But uh, we'll let this one just sit and see what happens. Let's see if we can find another target. Ah, there it goes. I think the battleship is sinking. Excellent. The Nagato is going down. All right, very good. I want to make sure that I don't have those Havocs leave the area because we still need them for strafing. We still have uh, a few others down here with bombs, and then we have some another group up here with bombs. So let's find another target. Yeah, it looks like one of the freighters, this one right here, is leaving. And so we're sending the two A-20s that hit the, uh, the battleship. We're going to strafe it and see if we can sink it. one freighter down and two more to go so we'll just circle our a20s here uh, these two will be used for strafing and removing uh, crippled ships like this one over here uh, but we'll continue looking for more targets again we're looking for let's see two and five is it yeah two and five three is the heavy cruiser and then the rest of them are destroyers. So uh, let's uh, let's see. We got two more groups of A20s with bombs. So I might use them for for the heavy cruiser here. That's what I'm probably going to do. I'm hoping she tries to make a run for it. We'll see what happens. Okay, we have another possible target. We're moving in on. This is the fleet over here. I believe this is the ship we're trying... Yep, this is the one we're trying to hit. It is sitting right here. We're moving a little bit to the southwest. We're going to turn and strafe it. Number seven is a destroyer. So is number eight. I'm hoping to get there before they can uh, move into position and cover number five. And we're moving really fast. So I'll get them over there as quickly as I can. Okay, let's see what kind of damage we got on this one. Uh, not retreat, report. This one was number... I forgot which number... Oh, here we go, number five. Heavy damage, heavy flooding. I think it was number five. Yeah, it was number five. On one pass, we did lose a lightning, but... Uh, that's fine, we'll 
We'll continue. I think one more pass on this one should do it. Where are we right now? All right, we'll continue. Uh, get these lightnings back in a group, and we'll probably bring them back over here. All right, the damaged merchant right here is trying to leave. We're going to send these two Havocs after it. We've already have it targeted. Let's go ahead and have them attack. I think, to be perfectly honest, I think this this group of aircraft here could probably sink whatever is left that we want to sink. And I think really all we want is the heavy cruiser and the last transport. The, these destroyers, one of the destroyers split. It's up here. It decided, I'm out of here. I'm done with this. Uh, but there's two left. Number eight and number seven and then there's the heavy cruiser this one can be strafed down pretty quickly and i got bombs for that one so i think what i'm going to do is bomb this one with the a20s i got two groups left i could probably take it out strafe this one and then leave and then all those other torpedo aircraft that are coming we're going to send them after the other task force and we're close to finding it i don't want to spend all day over this target it's already 11:30, so we're going to go ahead and try and sink um uh, this heavy cruiser. I'm going to go ahead and tell them to attack right now. And then we'll bring in this group of A-20s.
Okay, let's see what kind of damage we're looking at now. We've had both A-20 groups bomb it. I think I got two... two... I got one direct hit here, and then one direct hit here. Let's take a look here. It looks like uh, heavy damage, minor flooding. Alright, we'll keep working on it. I don't know. We're probably going to need a uh, some of the torpedo planes, some of the Catalinas for this one. Because uh, I think we're out of bombs, and I don't know if strafing is going to do it. I, I just don't... I'm not sure it's going to be enough. Uh, we might. We have plenty of Havocs. So we might give it a shot. But I want to get number two first before we give that a try. All right, we're going to make one more attack, and that is on the... We're going to go ahead and let the heavy cruiser go. We're not getting any more flooding on it, so we don't have any more bombs, so that's it. We're going to send in the Havocs and the Lightnings against number two right away, like all at once. And hopefully we can just sink it. Let's attack. Attack. And attack. We'll sink it right away, and then just leave. I think with these three groups coming in, we should be able to put enough damage on that to sink it in one pass, hopefully. Okay, what kind of damage are we looking at here? It is critical, critical. It's probably going to sink. We'll just let nature take its course. And uh, hang out here for a little bit, and after it sinks, we'll leave. Yep, there she goes. All right, so this is the final tally. Uh, merchant sunk. Uh, this is that hospital ship, I believe, sunk. Heavy cruiser has heavy damage, minor flooding. The battleship is sunk, the other uh, merchant is sunk, and the three destroyers, one has moderate damage, that's about it. So really all that's left, they have that heavy cruiser, which we're going to sink here soon, and then the three destroyers. Uh, what did we gain? Let's, let's leave. Go ahead and leave the engagement. We lost five aircraft. They had two aircraft that came in that we shot down uh, right away. And, uh, okay. All right, here we are right here, right here. And uh, we will have the, most of these go back, the Havocs, the Lightnings go back. We still have, again, plenty of other ships come, or aircraft coming. And I believe we did, yes, we did find the, other enemy carrier again it's right here i'm going to direct basically we're going to send probably one group of like catalinas and sunderlands i think i have yeah we have three sunderlands here and six catalinas that should be enough for that one heavy cruiser and the rest of them we're sending over here i don't know if they're going to like the b-17s i don't know if they're going to make it we have, well, they might. They have almost 700 miles, so they should. Let's go ahead and send them over here. Hopefully we can get there before, before dark. All right, Task Force 11 has arrived at Shortland Islands. Let's have them unload all cargo. And we'll take a look at the Shortland Islands again. We just dropped off a 300 troops or so and some more supplies. And we're up to 6,500 troops, almost 15,000 supplies. We have the edge just barely. Task Force 11, make your way back to Guadalcanal. Well, at least we'll, we'll navigate over in this direction. I'm not exactly sure what I want them to do yet, but they don't need to be there. And there's nothing to pick up on these islands, so let's bring them back over here. Uh, the Kingfishers are coming back to, to Task Force 1. I looked at this. This is just two destroyer escorts. Don't really care about that. Not much happening in the Solomon Sea right now. Uh, these are going to 
be a while before they get over to rendezvous with Task Force 10. Not much happening over here in this area in the west. Okay, remember the light cruiser in the middle of the Solomon Sea that we found, I don't know, several episodes ago? Well, we finally found them again. So we're going to move in with our bow fighters. And we remember, this, these are the ones that we armed with rockets. So we're going to try and and hit that light cruiser. Let's go tactical. And then once we hit it, it's right in front of us. Once we hit it, we're going to strafe it and hopefully sink it. Yeah, now we're right over it. So we need to, well, make sure we don't get shot down. We'll have them, uh, let's see, navigate over here. We'll have this group navigate over here and uh, line up something. This is the light cruiser. We're lining up. We've already got it targeted. So I'm going to have them go ahead and attack. They really hit that light cruiser hard. Let's see what the report says. Critical damage, critical flooding. Uh, I don't think we need the other group. We'll send the other group after the destroyer over here, the destroyer escort. But I think that light cruiser is headed to the bottom. We'll, we'll wait and see, but doesn't look good for her. I think that's the first ship that had critical damage and critical flooding that did not sink. At least that I can remember. So we're bringing the bowfighters around. The same ones that rocketed her. They're going to strafe her. And hopefully put her out of her misery. We'll be swinging around here for the attacks shortly. There's the destroyer right over there. We're saving this group of bowfighters for her. All right, we're moving, maneuvering into position.
Well, that was a bit disappointing. We got an initial, pretty good initial attack on her, and then tried to strafe her. I, a uh, couple, three explosions, but she managed to shoot down all four of my bow fighters. I think we'll rocket this one, and the rocket should take care of that. Destroyer escort. In fact, I might. Nah, we'll just send all the rockets against it, and then when it's done sinking this one, we'll strafe this one to end it. And then they whiff on the destroyer escort. That's amazing. Let's see if they got any damage at all on it. Minor da damage. Wow. Okay. Well, let's swing them around. And attack. See if we can uh, strafe it down. Well, this one's still on fire. I've lost all of my bow fighters after that initial great success on the first strike against the light cruiser. They're all gone <laughs> by anti-aircraft fire from strafing. This one's on fire. The other one's sunk, of course. This one is on fire. The report shows critical and heavy, critical damage, heavy flooding. Uh, it kind of just depends on the fires. If they uh, sink this thing, we'll, we'll watch it here for a little bit and see what happens. Uh, it looks like she's going to survive. The fires are out, and I believe it's still stuck at critical damage, heavy flooding. Yeah, so she'll survive. Uh, a little unbelievable, but okay, that's fine. All right, let's leave. Lost eight aircraft, but they'll be back. Um... 
Probably wasn't worth it, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, we are still waiting here. We have three mariners approaching. We got. I left the air. Well, there, there are three mariners watching this task force. The Havocs are staying here just in case I need them, and the Lightnings as well. They have plenty of endurance left. Um, the the carrier is right here, the other carrier. I keep it keep I keep losing it and then reacquiring it, losing it, reacquiring it. Uh, it may, we I don't know if we're going to be able to hit this one today. It's uh, we still got a long ways to go with some of our aircraft, but uh, as soon as these uh, Catalinas come in, we'll we'll uh, go after that uh, heavy cruiser. All right, the first Catalinas have arrived. They're right here. I have, how many? I have nine of them. That should do it, but you never know with these torpedoes. Let's go into tactical. Start, and hopefully I'm not like right over. Okay, they're right over here. Great. We're all gonna, we're gonna target number three. Not, not number three. It used to be number one is what we're targeting. And boy, she looks like she's moving pretty good. Let's see. She's got uh, critical damage and minor flooding. Let's give her some more flooding, shall we? We're going to line this up. I might... Well, I don't know how this is going to go. We have a destroyer here. We'll probably have to come in from this side. The heavy cruiser is sinking. She was... I counted the torpedoes. She's struck by seven torpedoes and uh, nine dud torpedoes. <laughs> so, 16 torpedoes hit her, but uh, only seven were good. So, I think that's all that's that we're interested in for this. Yeah, all that's left of these destroyers. We don't really care about them. We're going to leave. And then have all of these... How many uh, Catalinas did we lose? I think we lost one. Yeah, we lost one. Let's have them return to base. And then the rest of them, like these Catalinas, we're going to send up this way. And there's that carrier again. We've lost a couple of, uh, of scout planes up here, but we have plenty. Sunderlands are on the way. Catalinas are on the way. Those Sunderlands are on the way. These Catalinas are on the way. Great. Uh, the Havocs are here. I don't know if they're going to make it. We have 338 nautical miles left. I'm um, kind of curious to see. 338. Ooh, barely. Barely. And the fortresses, uh, they're on their way too. And I think that's... Yeah, oh, these Catalinas, right. I could probably have them... I, I had them going towards this target, but not anymore, I guess. 468 miles they have left. Uh, barely. They might be able to get there. We'll see. 
Okay. All right. It is now 1020 in the morning. And I think, let's see, Hornet can't launch for quite a long time. Seven and a half hours. She recovered a bunch of aircraft. I have Task Force 1 and 2 on their way, but of course they're, they're you know, they're hundreds of miles away. But since most of our operation here is done, at least for today, I might send them over here. I don't, I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to engage that today. Probably not, uh, but we'll see. Elsewhere, Task Force 31 and uh, 44 still steaming towards Milne Bay. Uh, Saratoga's just chilling out here. Not a whole lot else happened. Oh, that's right. Kingfish did see a couple of ships here. We're going to jump into that in a little bit. When they get a little bit closer, just a little bit, we'll, we'll get in the, the Kingfish and take a look. But that's the situation for now. We're going to let this roll and see what else develops. Okay, it's about time to get in the Kingfish and see what this group is. It was a little interesting. It looked like these two ships were hugging the coast here, coming down this way. So I had Kingfish start moving this in this direction, like the Southwest Intercept, and then suddenly they started moving east. So I'm like, how did they know I'm here? So we're going to change course a little bit. We're, let's just get in the Kingfish and see what this is. Oh, how did they slip? How did they slip past me? <laughs> I I was on the map. I'm down here and they're right here. Okay, that's interesting. So now they're behind me right over here. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up. There's no way. Nah, they're going too fast. Um, they're still about 7,600 yards away and I don't think torpedoes can go that far. I do have a 79% solution, but I'm not even going to try it. Uh, I think what I might do is retreat and then jump right back in and see if maybe I was tra I, I'm transported closer to them. <laughs> oh, why am I on the surface now? <laughs> what in the world? Okay. Periscope depth right away. I think we've they're gone. What is this here? Five ships, one destroyer. Let's take a look at this. Looks like destroyer, destroyer, escort. It's probably just two ships, two destroyer escorts. They don't, Japanese don't have a whole lot else. All right. It is three ships, destroyer, escort, destroyer, destroyer, escort. Now we're back to this kind of task force, which I'm not really interested in going after. Okay, the A-20s from New Hebrides finally, well, they're in the area. We have 11 nautical miles of endurance left. I'm going to jump in and see if I can find them the task force. I might not be able to. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. What might happen is we we'll we'll, we'll find it and then we got to go back. But they should be right here. Okay, this is a little weird. I think. Look at here's the map. I have Sunderlands everywhere, and I know I just saw the Japanese task force on the map, right about here. And now they're nowhere to be seen. All right, well, I don't know where they hid the task force. Or maybe they turned on their cloaking devices. I don't know, but I... This is a little, like, really bizarre. I guess we'll retreat, because I'm not going to find them, evidently. 11 nautical miles of endurance. Let's see if we can move a little closer, maybe. I think they were right here. Last I saw, they were right here. And that was not very long ago. All right, I'll try this one more time.
Yeah, they're they're they've they've disappeared. Well, the Havocs have to go home now. It looks like I got some Catalinas coming in. Sunderlands with some bombs. We'll we'll see. It is twelve oh four. Actually, what I might do is leave the episode here. I think we got about 45 minutes in or so after editing, something like that. And I don't want to make these too long. They, they take a while to edit, so uh, I think we're going to leave it here. And then when we come back, we will see if we can get some of these bombers to find this task force up here. It's going to be a little dangerous. They still have some zeros here. They've been shooting down some of my scout aircraft. I got six Catalinas. They should make it. Those Catalinas should make it too. The Sunderlands. I think all these others should make it. Now, whether they can find... Whether they can find the task force is another story. Uh, it appears like they've just left the area somehow. But uh, we'll see if we can find them when we come back next time. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.